data centers of large internet firms such as Google, Apple, Microsoft and others contain thousands of computer servers. As they process information, they generate enormous amounts of heat requiring cooling towers that dissipate it into the atmosphere. A Dutch firm thinks paying for electricity to run the servers and then paying again to cool them is a waste of energy. Boaz Loop is the CEO of the startup Nerdalyze. We don't actually have to build a data center, which saves a lot of cost in infrastructure. And we don't have the cooling overhead, plus that you have the environmental benefit that the kilowatt hour you're using is used twice, once to uh, heat the home and once to compute yeah, uh, the client's task without the cooling overhead. This is the e-radiator, a computer server that also works as an alternative heating source. Five Dutch homeowners are experimentally using them in their homes. We reimburse the electricity the server uses, and that we can do uh, because of the compute clients on the other side. Uh, and that way, homeowners actually get heating for free, and uh, compute users don't have to pay for the overhead of a data center. One of the participants in the year-long experiment, Jan Wieser, says the amount of heat produced by e-radiator depends on the work being done by the server's processors, so it cannot be used as the primary source. But he is ready to try it. If it gives enough warmth, you can use less of your existing central heating, and there's the chance for a homeowner to pay less bills. Nerdalize says e-radiators generate temperature up to 55 degrees Celsius and could save up to $440 in annual heating costs. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.